You're watching the Wellness Herald, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, new treatment options for people that are suffering with gum disease. Uh, my first guest is an expert on the topic, Dr. Don Bluer. Dr. Bluer, welcome to the program. Thank you. All right, now, uh, and I have a lot of questions, and I know yes. you brought some photos. Uh, now, before we get into today's topic, uh, let's talk about your practice. Sure. And uh, a little bit about your background and training in, re in regard to laser dentistry and some of the new things that are that are happening. Very good, happy to. Uh, well, I'm a general dentist and I have been doing the Lynette protocol or laser assisted new attachment procedure since 2001. And okay. really that's the crux of my practice is focusing on patients who have periodontal disease or gum disease. And uh, it is really something that I enjoy because of the benefit it creates for my patients. I had a patient the other day come to see me. All right. And she said, Dr. Bloor, she said, this is exactly the answer to my prayers, what I didn't know existed. And when I can make that type of difference for a patient, that thrills me as like a dentist. Why would she say that, by the way? Well, she has bleeding gums, she has puffy swollen gums, okay. and mobile teeth, bad breath. And she's been told by dentists that she needs to have the, that gum disease treated by scraping and cutting procedures, which are okay. conventional gum treatments. And I don't know about you, but I don't really want to be scraped or cut, and she didn't either. So when she learned out, learned that there was a patient-friendly, no cut, no sew, no fear treatment for her gum disease, she was thrilled. Okay, okay, so I understand this correctly. Okay, so there's an infection, as you say, underneath the gum line. Yes. And this laser kind of kills the bacteria. Is that right? It is that does. A simplified version of it. It is a very simplified okay, version of okay. it, but it's an important aspect of it. The gum disease is caused by bacteria that creates an inflammatory process in the mouth that destroys the gum and the bone and everything that's holding the teeth in the mouth. So teeth become loose, they move, they're sore sometimes, and you can lose your teeth uh, with this gum disease. So the options are to kind of cut it out or to laser. The area. Right. Now but the is that right? That's correct. Now the okay. laser is like a guided missile for the bacteria. It actually sees the disease and targets the disease and leaves the healthy tissue alone. And it creates an environment in the body, in the mouth, where it's difficult to do so for regeneration. It's like uh, you have a broken bone in your arm. You don't amputate your arm. You create an environment for the bone to grow back and we gener regenerate bone and you keep your arm. Okay. Okay. And and in that way, we're keeping teeth and growing back the, and the bone. the gums actually get healthier after these treatments? The gum and the bone and the attachment between the, the two, the tooth and the tissue and the bone. All of that attachment combination grows back. Okay. Oh, now, we should, we should mention, and I called you the expert at the top of the show, but you literally teach dentists from all over the world this procedure. You're also part of... I guess, and I may say it wrong, the Institute for Advanced Laser Dentistry. Tell me a little bit about your background and training, and then we're going to go right into gum disease. Yes, I do teach uh, doctors all over the world how to do the LANAP procedure, as well as teach instructors how to be an instructor on the same process. And the Institute for Advanced Laser Dentistry is the only organization that has done research on this procedure. It's FDA cleared. It's the only um, gum treatment using a laser device and a protocol that has scientific proof of regeneration okay. and not hurting patients. And that's what that organization is primarily responsible for, is teaching doctors how to do this very safe and effective procedure, as well as to do the research on the procedure itself. And this is the future of dentistry? You believe? I believe so, yes. Is it the number one reason why people lose teeth is gum disease? Is that right? It's extremely prevalent. 85% okay. of the population has gum disease. 50% really? of them have moderate to severe gum disease and only 3% are getting it treated. And we believe that's because patients just don't like their options. Okay, okay. What are the symptoms? Okay, so somebody watching this, what are the symptoms of gum disease? How do you know you have it? You may not know you have okay. it, but oftentimes you may notice that you have bleeding gums, you have bad- Like when you floss? 
when you floss Isn't or that brush. Normal to have a little bit of bleeding gums? Bleeding gums aren't normal at all. If your gums okay. bleed, even when you're flossing, it's not normal. Your gums should not bleed at all. Okay. Brushing, flossing, bleeding gums, puffy gums. So if you look in the mirror and they look a little bit enlarged or red or any combination, that's not normal. Another symptom is a bad breath, a strange taste in your mouth, your to your teeth being loose or moving to a different position, you notice spaces between your teeth. All of these are signs of gum disease, and sometimes there are no signs at all. So the bad breath, I mean, what is it? I mean, what's the connection between gum disease and bad breath? The connection between bad breath and gum disease is because of the bacteria that cause gum disease. And okay. what's wonderful about the Lynette procedure is immediately after having that procedure done to treat gum disease, it eliminates the bad breath. Okay, and uh, so across the country, I mean, 10% of the dentists across the country are using lasers now to treat this? Is that right, or is it, or is it even less than that? Oh, the, the use of lasers by dentists in general is, a, is about 10%. It okay. really is increasing. I think in the medical and, and uh, dental profession, it is really being ad adopted much more. It's like LASIK for eye problems. This is LANAP for gum disease. So LANAP. Look for a dentist that offers LANAP. Is that your recommendation? Um, absolutely. If you have gum disease and you need to have that treated, you need to find a LANAP dentist. And you can do so by going to the website www.lanap, that's L-A-N-A-P dot com, and that will facilitate getting you to the right doctor. Okay, now, the, the gum specialist, the periodontist, okay, what do they say about this? La using a laser instead of the traditional, as you say, cutting or stitches. That, that procedure? Well, periodontists do treatment for this procedure all day, and so they're seeing a lot of patients with gum disease. And actually, 85% of the doctors who are purchasing uh, this peri Perilase MVP7 for the Lynat protocol year over year are periodontists. Was oh, that right? So they really are starting to adopt this procedure. Um, but it's important that they're doing the LANAP procedure with the right laser. You know, anticipating your coming, spoke to uh, a periodontist that uses this laser, and y Dr. Yetta McCollum yes. uh, from New York, I think is where she is, or Chicago. Chicago. And she says that it's, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but kind of barbaric or ancient history to be cutting gums when the laser is available. Oh, absolutely. I mean, do you have other people that say similar things? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Randy, look at this. All right, all right. Is this something that you would like to have done in your mouth? What am I looking at? This there? is teeth with gum disease that are being treated with traditional surgery. All right. And what happens with traditional surgery is that the gums are cut, they are pulled away from the bone. The bone is drilled on and contoured, the gums are laid back and sewn back together. The problem is that in the process, only the disease that the doctor can see is being removed. So removed like what, scraped out? Scraped away, okay. cut away. But the bacteria live in the gum, they live in the bone, they live in the teeth, and you can't see that, and you can't get to it by scraping and cutting. So when you're all done and everything's sewn back together, there's still bacteria and disease there, and it's going to come back. So it may have reduced some of the spaces between the teeth and some of the symptoms of the disease, but it doesn't eliminate the disease. The bacteria. It doesn't get rid of the bacteria. Okay. And what they do is actually cut away some of the gum. So what happens is that the teeth appear longer. There's more of the tooth exposed in the root too, which is sensitive to cold and to various types of food. So you end up with an uncomfortable procedure being scraped and the gums being cut, and then you end up with sensitive teeth, teeth after the okay, fact. Okay, but that, that does work though. I mean, this is how it's normally done. Oh, it is the way it's that effective. it's been treated for years. It's conventional treatment for gum disease, yes. All right, all right. But the result is different. But that works. Well, yeah, it works. This is what it looks like after the gum surgery is done with the patient sewn back together. Okay. But it's different with LANAP because with LANAP, we don't have to mechanically cut away the gums, scrape the teeth, but we leave everything there. It is the laser that gets rid of the disease and leaves the healthy tissue there and creates that environment to grow everything back. So we're reattaching the gum and the bone to the tooth at the same height that All it right. was to begin with. Now, do you have photos of, uh, of an example of what it looks like? I do. What you can do? 
Okay. It's very nice, by the way, that you brought these photos on that uh, iPad there. It's very handy. All right. So this would be a patient that okay. was treated with the Lynette procedure, and you can see that the patient is very wow. inflamed, puffy. All of the symptoms that we just talked about as a patient with gum disease, what to look and for. And that hurts, by the way, when you have that? When you have it, it may or may not hurt. I, I wouldn't say that all patients have discomfort. In fact, okay. I wouldn't rely on that as the one as the right. reason to go seek um, an exam, for instance. But this patient had the LANAP protocol done with the Periolase MVP7, and what it did was kill the bacteria in the gum and in the bone and around the tooth, in the calculus and the buildup that's on the tooth that we want to remove, and left all of the healthy tissue intact. Basically allowed the tissue, the gum and the bone to reattach back to the tooth. You won't believe so the this result. Particular, so this, but, but that particular person, yes, traditional therapy would have been to pull back the gums, scrape it out, stitch the gums back. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so this one was treated with a laser. This one was treated with a laser. Right. And interesting enough, interestingly enough, this patient would actually not have had a successful result with the surgery I just showed you. Because that surgery, if we cut away what's there, there was so little left holding these teeth in the patient's mouth that had we done the conventional treatment, we probably would have lost those teeth. All right. Not All only right. did we not lose the teeth, but in this case, we, nice. we were able to preserve Preserve the height of the gum. The gum looks healthy. There's no long exposed teeth. And also the patient's very comfortable. So we didn't leave the patient with sensitive teeth, eating ice cream and um, cold water. The patient's very comfortable after the fact. No calls in the middle of the night from surgery patients who are having discomfort following the procedure. Here is another patient. Now this patient was in an earlier stage of gum disease, especially on the lower tooth, where the patient's starting to have a little bit of swollen gums in one area. But what you can't see is that the bacteria also live in the rest of the mouth. It's not just a one spot problem. And we were able to use the LANAP protocol. So the LANAP, when we're talking about LANAP, just so I know, working yes. definition, that's the laser you're using. The LANAP protocol is the procedure that we do with the laser we okay. use. So the okay. laser is the Periolase MVP7 and the procedure that we do with it is laser assisted new attachment procedure, what is known as LANAP. So you laser the area and that's the after right there. So we LANAP this area okay, and the area. we end up with a result like this and you can see the difference in the health of the gums. Instead of having very red, very puffy, uh, easily bleeding gums, we have very tight pink firm, non-bleeding gums and very happy patient. Now we've talked in the green room over there and you say, you know, the challenge is that people wait too long. They wait yes. till their teeth are ready to fall out. That if you, if you could get people early at the bleeding while flossing stage or puffy gum stage, you could potentially wipe it out. Absolutely. And I don't want to put words in your mouth. Is that right? Absolutely. And you know, gum disease doesn't happen overnight. The patient that I showed you first with the very swollen gums, and I told you he probably would have lost his teeth if we didn't do LANAP, that didn't happen overnight. It took a, a period of time. And if we could get to our patients earlier when they're just starting to notice some bleeding gums or, or even before they notice a problem by going to the dentist on a regular basis and making sure that they measure the space between the gum and the tooth and checking for the symptoms of gum disease, we can catch these problems early with the procedure that doesn't cause the patient any problems it doesn't or pain. Hurt. I mean, pain is not something they complain about during the procedure? No, patients are numb, so okay. we're keeping them comfortable during the procedure, and then after the fact, they're very comfortable. They don't have problems because we're not cutting on them. We're not All scraping right. them. We're not removing their tissue. That's the patient-friendly aspect of the LANAP procedure, is that the laser energy is doing the work. It is selecting the bacteria living in and around the teeth and killing those and then creating an environment that's very unique. I had said it's an environment for regeneration like if you have a broken arm or a broken bone, but it's also unique in the treatment of gum disease. Conventional treatments like scraping and cutting procedures that are offered now are not 
something that will get this type of regenerative result. It almost is like scar tissue that okay. forms between the tooth and the gum. It's not putting you back together with the same parts and pieces as you were born with. It's like having a scar between the two instead. So it's not as um, strong, it's not as reliable, and I don't know about you, but I like to have all my parts and pieces just the way I was okay. born with too, okay. and not to lose any of them during the process of the technique that's used. No matter whether it's the scraping or the cutting or the combination of both, you're always going to get some loss of tissue there. And so with the Lynette procedure, we're able to preserve that and grow back that which was lost. Okay, my cousin, uh, he's about to go. In, in fact, I'm shifting gears and I'm going to send him to you guys. It's a true <laughs> story. He works at Disneyland and uh, he goes, Randy, I, I, you got to look for a laser dentist. You got to look for this Lynette and uh, I didn't send him to your website yet because I told him this is classic because I'm interviewing like the, the laser person that, that, that does this and, and teaches others. But uh, so they could avoid surgery, no more bleeding gums. And, and do their gums get healthy again? They do. I mean, they do. And how soon? How soon? Well, it immediately. Immediately you notice a difference. The gums aren't bleeding. They're not puffy and swollen. You don't have bad breath. Okay. So immediately there is a very gratifying difference that it makes for the patients. Over time it just keeps getting better and better because the body does take time to grow parts and pieces back. Have you had it done on yourself? I have not, but I've had the laser energy used on my, on my gums and teeth because it is a great preventive, preventative procedure too. Just by using the laser energy around my teeth and between my gum and my teeth, before cleaning, for instance, I can eliminate the bacteria that may be present before I have my teeth cleaned so that it doesn't get into the bloodstream, which actually okay. is really something that uh, is important to understand. We're talking about gum disease and focusing on the mouth as the problem area, but really, Science has come to learn that the mouth and the rest of the body are connected. So right. the bacteria and the inflammatory processes that that bacteria cause in the mouth actually has consequences on the rest of the body. Patients who have periodontal disease, gum disease, are twice as likely to have heart disease. Um, also, increased risk for stroke, diabetes, several cancers. So this infection under the gum line leaks into the rest of the body. Oh, yeah. That's what's happening? Is, is basi that right? okay. basically it. And so the laser kind of wipes it out. Kills the bad bugs. That's another kind of expression I think I heard you say Kills on the, the bad bugs, <laughs> yes. All right. Now, it doesn't eliminate the patient's risk for gum disease entirely. Right. There are a lot of other okay. factors that go into patients with gum disease. There are genetic issues, um, gender factors, a lot of other factors involved. Now, Lanap, to the degree that we can address the factors that we have control over, does a fabulous job of creating a um, scenario where the patient is at less risk giving those factors that we can control. But they're still going to have genetic concerns, so they still sure. need to take care of their teeth. But this is hot. I mean, this is the hot thing in dentistry. And I'm not trying to side with you here, by the way. I'm just asking the questions. But this may be the future of dentistry. I mean, I've had people say, Randy, that, you know, what we've had in the old days, this is a periodontist talking, actually teaches at Temple University. And he said, you know, we just were cutting it out and it would come back. We cut it out and it would come back. Now we could actually treat or kill the bacteria. And it may still come it's... back, but, but the distance, as long as they do it maybe every six months or every year, it's very that frustrating. It's really kind of a solution to this this big problem. It is a very is frustrating problem. Periodont periodontitis gum disease has been elusive for as long as I've been a, a dentist and decades before that. And the problem is trying to get this type of regeneration. We haven't been able to create the environment to get the regeneration that we're getting and the stability of the treatment afterwards. So yes, it is a constant battle with conventional treatments. You scrape, you cut the gums away, you sew it back together, but then there's reoccurrence of the disease and then you keep cutting, you keep scraping, well eventually you run out of things to work with and patients won't put up with it. I mean you have doctors that were doing, I think you said, you know, 80 surgeries a year and now they're really not doing any of these surgeries or very little and it's just most of their patients are candidates for this laser procedure. Well, well, Is that right? 
Yes, there are so many patients who have gum disease and whether you have mild to so advanced, you've been told you're going to lose your teeth given conventional options, anywhere in that range, you're a candidate for the lab have you, procedure. Now, you're a dentist and, yes. and, and patients see you. Have you ever uh, you know, been given a patient, you're the second opinion, and yes. they've been told your teeth have to go? Yes. And, it, and use the laser and you didn't have to remove all the teeth? I mean, all the that time. Ever really? All the time. All the time. I have a lot of patients who come to me and also come to the Institute for Advanced Laser Dentistry where we're um, tr training our doctors and they have told us that they've, well, they've been told they're going to lose their teeth, either some or all. Um, and it's extremely gratifying to be able to look them in the eye and say, I have another alternative that um, can save your teeth. Do I have time to show you this patient? Sure, sure. This is a patient who has periodontal disease. And okay. just like other patients, she wants to have things done that are fun, exciting, like get whiter teeth, have straighter teeth, have a beautiful smile. But she's been told that she needs to have her gum scraped and cut if she were to have any hope of doing the things she really wants to do. But she's not really excited about having her gum scraped and cut, and so she's put it off. But learning that there is a patient-friendly alternative with the Lynette protocol, okay. she was able to come to me, found me as her doctor, and I did the Lynette procedure for her, and you can see the difference that we were able to make with her Very smile. Nice. And nice. uh, you can see before and after her smile and the it's change that that makes for someone to have bleeding gums, bad breath, also crooked teeth, not white teeth, uh, stains and poor restorations on their front teeth, and wanting to have that dramatic life-changing difference, not only with the laser procedure and getting their gums healthy and the bad breath and puffy bleeding gums gone, but also to create that smile. Now, now the laser treatment, it's less visits to the doctor. Yes. I mean, what normally may take nine or 10 visits, you guys maybe one to three visits? Yeah, usually a right? patient will have to come in, get scraped, and then come in and get cut, and it's done on multiple appointments, anywhere from nine to 10 appointments with conventional treatments, whereas we can do the same procedure or treatment of uh, periodontal disease with LANAP in about a third or less of the visits. We can do all of the mouth in one visit, we can do half and half, and then of course we bring the patient back so we can check them, so one, two, three appointments first is maybe eight or nine. Are you ever surprised at the results that you get? Now I'm not. I've been doing this okay. for over a decade, so I expect to see this. This is what we see time and time again for our patients. We see the pockets or the spaces between the teeth disappear. We see the gums firm up where the bleeding goes away, the bad breath is gone, and this happens routinely. This is not the exception. This is the expectation for all of our patients who've been treated with LANAP. It's <clears throat> a benefit that's covered in some part by insurance. It's something that can be done in a visit and then go back to work in the same day, so it's not interrupting the patient's schedule. What about how soon can they eat? Well, they're going to want to wait to chew a steak for a little while because that environment okay. that we create needs to be um, kept from coming apart, I guess is right, the best right. way to explain it simply, is that we don't want to put mechanical chewing pressure on the gums that we just stabilized. But we're telling them not to chew the steak for a very short period of time. Like a week not, or so. Yeah, not because it's hurting them. That's the difference. Conventional surgery, they're in pain for weeks, sometimes months or longer, such that chewing is a real challenge. The chewing isn't a challenge for these patients. We just want them to be a little careful with what okay. they're eating so for, for about a week or so. So your message, and we're out of time, great stuff. Uh, visit the website. What is the website? It is, it is www.lanap, L-A-N-A-P.com. We'll put that at the bottom of the screen. So lanap.com, look for a lanap Somebody that owns a, a Lanap laser. Yes. Is that right? It's a, somebody who owns a Periolase MVP7 laser and is a Lanap clinician. So they've been trained and they have a certificate on their okay. wall that shows that they've been trained by the institution. Now the doctors that are using this, and I told you, I, t I spoke to one in particular, uh, Periodontist, she goes, Randy, I could never, in fact, Dr. Stephen Brown as well said, now that I use this laser, I could never do it any other way. 
period. I mean, I mean, do you hear that? We from, hear it all the time. Well, once you do it this way, you can't do it the other way, in, the old way. In fact, uh, this is my favorite uh, comment that one of our doctors has told me about the periolase for the Lynette protocol. He says, you'll have to pry that from my cold, dead hands <laughs> before you can take it away. That should tell you So something. the doctors <laughs> like it that much. Okay, but the main thing, no more bleeding. I mean, you've got to have healthy, beautiful teeth and gums and you don't have to have surgery it's life -changing. most of the time you can you, you can do the laser and it just kills the bacteria yes. and uh, everything's good from there yes right okay good i want to thank you for coming to the show thank you so Very much interesting you've been watching the wellness hour leader in medical news and information i'm randy alvarez if you would like to see this interview again online you can go to our website and put in gum disease you can put in dr bluer and uh, for now i wish you good help thanks for watching the wellness hour the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.